Hello there, my beautiful Sagittarius, and welcome to your June Love Tarot Reading with me, Miss Machiste. Sagittarius, we are looking into your love life and what is coming your way next in terms of love for the first half of June. Please do keep in mind that time is fluid and check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs on my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Please do not forget to subscribe. And if you are a returning Sagittarius, welcome back in and thank you so very much for being here and for watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of my beautiful Sagittarius out there. Please do not forget to like this video. It really helps my channel grow. So Sagittarius, let's get into it and let's get started for the first half of June spirit. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Sagittarius, stick around towards the end of the reading. I will be getting each zodiac signs feelings for you. So let's see what's going on spirit for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for the first half of June in their love lives. I do not take flyers. All right, here we go, Sag. Sag, take what messages are yours and leave the rest behind. I am reading for single, separated, and in partnership. So bear with me as I get out all the messages. Take what are yours and leave the rest. Here we go, Sag. First card out is we have giving and receiving. The six of pentacles, earth energy. We also have Teach. This is the Hierophant. Taurus Energy. We also have Nurture. This is the Empress. More Taurus Energy. Libra as well. We also have Love Abounds. The Ace of Cups. Water Energy. Love Offer coming in. We have Sadness and Isolation, the Three of Swords, and we also have Moving On, the Eight of Cups. Okay, water energy there. So for some of you Sagittarius, I feel like somebody has really been causing you pain, caused you heartbreak somewhere down the road, whether it was from last week or from weeks or months ago. It definitely looks like Spirit is going to be blessing you and almost giving you what you deserve after you went through heartbreak. So it looks like you're receiving some sort of blessing from spirit after some sort of heartbroken energy or some sort of feeling of sadness, some sort of feeling of loneliness, maybe not feeling what you were getting, what you were wanting, some sort of energy like that. It looks like spirit is going to be blessing you with either a new lover after this heartbreak and pain that you have recently endured or a renewed sense of love from your person that possibly caused you to feel broken. Maybe they didn't cause you. Maybe this is just some sort of heart. Um, heartbreak and pain that has something to do with higher level learning, spiritual work, school, whatever the case may be. So for some of you, this sad energy may not have come directly from your person, but it does look like they are in the position of helping you, nurturing you, reminding you of your value and of your abundance so for a lot of you Sagittarius, if you have recently separated from someone or you have been single for quite some time, I definitely feel like this first half of June, Spirit is directly coming towards you to gift you this new love. And this new love is really going to help you release and move away from this heartbroken energy here. So something is coming towards you this first half of June, a love offer, either from a new person or your person, a renewed sense of love definitely could be. For some of you, yes, it could be a past person, but no matter what this person is coming with, it's going to aid in you releasing pain, which is awesome. And 
Whoever this person is, they see value in you. They want to reciprocate your energy here with this Six of Pentacles. For some of you, you may get some sort of support at work as well or some sort of financial support from someone or some sort of generous gift. Some of you may be getting something like that or somebody being very generous towards you. But it's like... Whatever's happening for you this first half of June is directly stemming from some sort of pain that was caused to you that you are now being rewarded for being strong, having strength, and having faith in spirit still. So for a lot of you Sages, you have been through it and you've kept your faith. You've not only kept your faith in spirit, but you've also kept your faith in yourself. And now it looks like spirit is going to be rewarding you. So let's clarify this energy for you, Sagittarius. You could be meeting new love at work or through school for some of you. For a lot of you, definitely could be. For others of you, Sagittarius, definitely could be your person really coming to the realization of how much pain you're in, whether it has to do with them or not. And really being there for you, really being supportive towards you, really giving you that loving energy that you need right now. And for others of you, Sagittarius, this could be a past person who is kind of making a U-turn here. I'm going to clarify and see more of that energy. Because I'm feeling more like if this was pain from a past person, this newer energy is just helping you release the other person. So I'm not really feeling a past person, but I'll clarify, obviously. So here we go for Sag Spirit. Thank you. On top of the Six of Pentacles is the Two of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. On top of the Hierophant, we have Judgment. All right, definitely now we see past energy. On top of the Empress, we have the Knight of Swords. So this person coming in hot. We have the Ace of Cups with the Five of Swords. We have the Three of Swords with the Page of Pentacles. There you go, I'm telling you. You're getting some sort of lucky energy from all of the defeated feelings that you have sat in, all of the pain that was caused to you, all the time that you felt was lost or that you wasted, and the Eight of Cups with justice because you are finally receiving your karmic justice, your rewards, and your... What is owed to you? So... Um, now that we have the clarifications out for some of you, this absolutely could be a past person, especially with Judgment and the Hierophant. It definitely could be somebody that you have or are still learning very difficult lessons with. So, nonetheless here, Sagittarius, you do have a loving offer coming for you. I do feel like for some of you, Sagittarius... If this is a past person, I definitely feel like you're going to be a little bit um, contemplative about it. What do I do? Do I reciprocate them back? How do I respond back? Um, Knight of Swords are definitely going to be coming in hot and heavy. If you are in a relationship, it definitely looks like your person is going to act very quickly towards you this first half of June. Making sure that you feel their love. Making sure that... Five of Swords, you're not giving up on them. So for some of you Sagittarius, if your person has caused you pain or you have just been feeling pain in general with this Three of Swords energy, it looks like your person is going to act very fast and want to make things better very quickly. So I don't feel like they're going to let the bad energy last too long. With this Page of Pentacles, definitely could be an apology, could be an offer. Like I said, some of you may be receiving a gift Page of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles definitely could be an energy of receiving some sort of generous gift, possibly even money here. And with Justice, it does look like your love life is going to be put back into balance and you are finally getting what is owed to you, Sag. So more Libra energy there with Justice. 
And I do feel like for some of you Sag that are meeting a totally new person, I feel like you're going to meet this person and it's going to be like an instant connection. And I almost feel like you're going to feel kind of like, oh man, not again, you know, like feelings again. All of this is going to happen extremely quickly. And with the Hierophant here with judgment, this absolutely could be a new person that you have lived past lives with. Yes, judgment is the angel of the past, but for me, paired with the Hierophant, it definitely could be that spirit is bringing you a new past life connection that you have yet to experience in this lifetime. And I do feel like for some of you Sagittarius, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, feelings again. Like, I don't want to deal with those again. But you don't want to deal with those again because of the people that you have experienced them with. I do feel like you will come to the realization that this person is someone who you may want to take a risk on. That you may want to explore. That you may want to experience, see where it goes. Sagittarius is in relationships. Your person, I don't know if they did something wrong or something happened to you at work or at school or just in your life in general, but this person is not giving up on you. They are definitely here for you. They are wanting to nurture you. They are wanting to take care of you, um, show you they care. I definitely feel like for a lot of you, Sagittarius, you kind of were ready to give up on your person if they caused you pain or you were just ready to give up in general because of what was going on with you and they're definitely not going to let that happen. They definitely want to have that happy energy with you, have that light and joyful energy with you and see if you two can really move away from this imbalanced, heartbroken, hurt, pain-like energy and walk towards full, amazing balance with the both of you. So for a lot of you, this is what is owed to you. This is just your karmic justice. This is just your karmic reward of what all of you have been through in your past. Spirit finally saying it's time for Sagittarius to get what is owed to them. For others of you, like I said, this absolutely could be a past person. They're going to come in very quickly. It's going to happen extremely quickly. It's going to be like, here they come. They have something to say. They follow up with an offer. And then they're going to want to see you. That's exactly how this is going. Come back around. Speak. Offer. Let's get together. So, you all have your own decisions. Obviously, justice indicates a decision. Two of Pentacles indicates a decision. So you do, the judgment indicates a decision. So you do have the decision. It's not like you're pressured to be with this person. But for a lot of you Sagittarius in current connections, if they did something to you, oh no. They are not giving up on this. This person will not give up on you. And if this is a past person coming back around, they once did give up on you. And I kind of have a feeling that this time around, they're going to tell you that they won't. Words and actions, obviously, are two different things, but this is just what they're saying. This is just the energy of what I feel like they will say. But this is all going to happen extremely fast, honestly. For some of you, you could already be sitting in this energy because of how quick I feel this energy is coming through. So that's what I got here for you. Definitely could be dealing with a Taurus very strongly. Very strong, I have Taurus and Libra. You could also be dealing with a Aquarius Gemini a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, specifically Scorpio. So let's collect these up and then we will get your Oracle cards and then we will see each Zodiac sign's feelings for you. But this person is definitely trying to make you feel better from whatever made you feel this. So whether this is a new person trying to make you feel better, your current person or this past person, someone's trying to make you feel better, someone's trying to nurture you, Sag, you have the decision on how you want to navigate it. So let's get Spirit 3 Mystic Moon Oracles for Sagittarius for the first half of June in their love lives for my beautiful Sagittarius. All right, here we go. Sag, you have grief. Yep. 
very deep sadness, possibly even a feeling of loss. I do feel like for some of you, this heartbroken energy may not exactly stem from the connection. For some of you, it does. For some of you, it may not. We have lessons. So really learning a lot of lessons. Like I said, for some of you, if this is a past person, there is a lot of lessons tied to this person. And very difficult lessons with grief here. And we also have Muse, yep. Someone feeling very inspired by you. Somebody really wanting to be in your energy. Somebody really feeling almost drawn to you in a different way now. Or just really feeling like you are their Muse. You are what drives them. And they really want to show you that. So definitely pretty specific there on Oracle. So let's get your... Zodiac feelings here. So spirit from all the way from Aries to Pisces. I need each Zodiac sign's feelings for my beautiful Sagittarius. Spirit all the way from Aries to Pisces. I need each Zodiac sign's feelings for my Sagittarius for the first half of June. All right, here we go, Sag. Let's see who's coming through. You could use their sun, moon, rising, Venus. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Here we go. Aries feelings for you are justice. So Aries may be one of these people or one of these energies that want to make things right with you, want to create balance again with you and really show you that you two can have a balanced connection. For some of you, you may be making a final decision with an Aries on what you want and they may be looking at you as the person that makes the decision. Taurus feelings for you as the two of wands. So it does look like Taurus is in a position of letting go of the past and seeing what else comes from this connection or just seeing what else will come in general. Two of wands, it could be a position of you two both letting go of the past and seeing what the future holds with this connection. Or Taurus is just in a position of just seeing what comes next. That's basically what it could be. It doesn't even have to be more in depth than that. Um, Gemini's feelings for you, Sagittarius, are the Seven of Cups. So it does look like Gemini is feeling a bit confused on how to come towards you, or they may be feeling confused on where they stand with you, how you feel towards them, whatever the case may be. Seven of Cups definitely indicates some sort of confusion, fantasy as well. So your Gemini could also be fantasizing about you. We have, uh, who's next for, is Cancer. Cancer's feelings for you, Sag, are the Five of Pentacles, so Cancer feels very left out from you. They feel very neglected from you. Cancer may be going through a loss, um, physical loss of a person or possibly financial loss, or they are trying to deal with the loss of you. So, could be either way with that card, but they definitely feel alone right now. Next we have is Leo's feelings for you is the King of Swords. So Leo feels very detached right now. They could be giving you the cold shoulder or your Leo could just be acting very unemotional. If you are in separation from a Leo, they are definitely trying to stand their ground and not come towards you. If you are in a connection with a Leo, then they could just be acting a little bit um, detached or actually a lot of bit detached. It may be very hard to read Leo there. Next is Virgo's feelings for you as a Ten of Wands. So it does look like Virgo is in a position of putting down a burden, whether they have been blocking you out and they are now putting that down to let you in. Or, you know, you could be dealing with a Virgo who has a lot on their plate, a lot going on, and they are finally putting down the burden of holding the weight of the world and really just having moments to relax. So you're either dealing with a Virgo who is very burdened by outside energy or feeling very burdened by the connection. Next we have is Libra's feelings for you as the Four of Cups. So Libra is feeling a bit rejected by you here. They may feel like you are invalidating their emotions or you may be feeling rejected by a Libra, but there is some sort of energy here of waiting for the opportunity to take the cup if the opportunity ever comes. Next we have is Scorpio's feelings for you as the Hierophant. So you could be married to a Scorpio. You could work with one or go to school with one, but it does look like Scorpio views you as somebody that they are very spiritually connected to. If you are not married to a Scorpio, they may view you as somebody that they want to marry. But they definitely view you as somebody that is very... Um, I kind of want to use the word structured for them, like they can count on you. 
Next we have is Sagittarius. Feelings for you, Sagittarius, as the devil. So it could be an extreme sexual attraction between the two of you, almost feeling tied to one another, almost feeling attached to one another. This could also indicate a bit of an unhealthy connection. There could be some sort of codependency or addictions between the two of you. Um, you could just be dealing with a fellow Sag that may drive you a little bit crazy. Um, next we have is Capricorn's feelings for you, Sag, as the Four of Wands. So Capricorn is very interested in being with you, coupling up with you, and having a happy relationship with you. If you are not coupled up with a Capricorn, they may be very interested in offering you commitment. You also may meet a Capricorn at a ceremony, possibly at a marriage, someone else's marriage. Um, we also have Aquarius feelings for you, Sag, as the Eight of Cups. So it does look like Aquarius is in a position of detaching. Um, you could be with an Aquarius and you two are working on releasing the past. Or you and Aquarius are just separating from one another. And lastly, Pisces feelings for you. Sag are the Ten of Cups. So Pisces views you as somebody that they could have extreme happiness with. That euphoric feeling of all is well in the world. So Pisces definitely looks you looks at you, Sag, as somebody that can really bring you bring them that utter happiness, that joy, that stability, that happy family, that happy home. If you are not already married to a Pisces, they definitely may want to marry you. So that's what I have here for you, Sag. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I'm closed for private readings, but I do go live to answer super chat questions weekly, as well as free card pulls on my Instagram. In the description box below is all the information you need for that. So thank you, Sag. Please do not forget to like this video. And I'll talk to all of y'all very soon. Bye now.